does this ever happen? I, I just, I just want to say, I just want to save the, I just want to save the, I just, I just want to save the, knowing this isn't a battle I could win, I just kind of knowingly walked in on me, but of course my, okay, it's brilliant because he can't come in if I'm naked, right? That's illegal. There are. Are rules, but of course my plan backfired. Of my backpack. On my own, let thing you kept. What is he, shit, man? Underage kids were not mentally prepared to lose my GameCube. Not again. So I told them to buzz off. Unfortunately for me, this is not where the tale ends because word ended up getting around about said bottle, thus prompting the suspicion of our teacher. <laughs> Probably on account of the fact that Shu kept telling people he had a water bottle full of vodka. During class, an investigation began, and one by one, each student was called in for questioning. You know, to tell them if they don't comply, they will be put in jail to have inexplicably horrible things done to them by a huge buff man and have their gang cubes taken away. It was very efficient, worked really well. Somehow, though, all the fingers were starting to point towards me, leaving me confused as hell because... The frick! I can't remember to drink water on my own, let alone carry a water bottle. Why the heck do people think I have it? There's a reason why I say stay hydrated, people. It's a reminder. And then... <laughs> I looked down. Apparently, while I wasn't paying attention, Shu decided to slip the water bottle onto the side of my backpack. Like a genius bitch. Realizing I now have the water vodka, I grab my bag and run straight to the restroom to pour it out. I made it there and quickly ran into the stall to start pouring out the vodka when suddenly I heard the sound of a door slamming wide open with the voice of my teacher screaming, Adam, come out with your hands up. It's over. We know you have the water bottle. Scared out of my mind, I did what anyone would have done in that situation and dropped down butt ass naked. Okay, it's brilliant because he can't come in if I'm naked, right? That's illegal. There are rules. But of course, my plan backfired because my teacher. Don't play by no rules and opened up the stall anyways. However, while I was pouring out the vodka, I had positioned myself in such a way that it actually looked like I was peeing. Not only did my teacher get an eyeful of ass, but he also unbeknowingly walked in on me taking a leak, which from anyone else's point of view, <laughs> makes this dude look, uh, <laughs> not good. So he quickly closed the door, stood by the stall, and waited for me to come out in order for him to quote unquote, check my backpack. Not looking too good for you here, teach. <laughs> Pouring out all the vodka, I flushed the toilet and ever so slowly, started to pull up my pants to think of a way to get out of this mess. I know he would think something's up if he found me with the water bottle completely empty, so in my head, I was completely stuck. Still scared, out of my mind, I took a deep breath and decided I only had one option left. I walked out of the stall and handed him the water bottle. Is this what you're looking for? I said. The teacher then nods his head yes and grabs the water bottle from me for examination. I was about to say something, but he immediately cuts me off because that's just something that teachers like to do for some reason. I, I just, I just want to say, I just want to save the, I just want to save the,
I just. Eh. I just want to save the bot. Knowing this isn't a battle I could win, I just kind of shut my mouth as well as waited for him to decide whatever the heck he's gonna do. He then twists the bottle open, takes a whiff, and proceeds to drink. But once he finished smacking lips on the bottle, he looks at me in complete disarray. As if he was disappointed he didn't actually solve a huge water bottle scandal. <laughs> Because when he took a drink, the water bottle wasn't empty, <laughs> nor did the liquid inside of it <laughs> taste like vodka. <laughs> I wonder why, Mr. Teacher Man. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up scooping water out of the toilet so that way no one could say I put anything out. <laughs> you probably thought I peed in it, you sickos. <laughs> so I says to him, I was just gonna say, if the water tastes a bit funny, it's cause my water filter at home is broken. So don't be suspicious. I then explained to him why the... <laughs> Rumors of me having a bottle full of vodka that were started was because, well, someone took a sip, thought it tasted gross, and came up with this crazy theory that I was carrying around vodka. Oops, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> that was stupid. Hey, in my defense, it was engraved into my mind from this teacher that if I ever got caught doing anything bad, let alone something illegal, inexplicably horrible things would happen to be in jail and my GameCube would be taken away. It's only fair that in response to scaring me for life, he has to, you know, drink a mouthful of poo-poo water. <laughs> so, yeah. See, YouTube? Not that bad. Give me money. I mean, I think it goes without saying, but I feel like I do have to say something. Don't! Bring alcohol to school, especially if you're underage, and just do the responsible thing like everybody else. You know, wait until you're the appropriate age, pop a few cold one with the boys, and celebrate because you are an adult and no one can take your GameCube away! Anyways, you've been a wonderful audience, thank you for watching, and stay hydrated! Peace! Las Chromebooks no solo arrancan rápido, sino que siguen rápidas con el tiempo para que puedas trabajar rápido y también terminar. de trabajar rápido. Ok, ahora estamos presumiendo. A Switch arrancar rápido y mantenerte rápido. A Switch, a Chromebook. If I told you this structure was built by hand, would you believe me? No. Well, how about this structure? Or this structure? Or... this you're a liar they are all hand built and that's what we're going to be reacting to and we're going to start off with something simple okay. a hole in the ground i mean that's a pretty symmetrical hole right is he making bricks yeah they're making bricks out of mud i always see these videos on my homepage, but i've never actually watched one all right so they dug a hole and now they're making a fire what's the fire for probably to make clay oh they just made brick they just made those i feel like we missed some steps here that's fine now we got a hot tub what it's just a tub maybe it looks like a hot tub but it's just a tub oh wait they put fire in it 
it is a hot tub. Oh, wow. That's genius. And there you go. That's how you make a hot tub in the middle of the forest. Humans are so cool. And if you thought that was cool, wait till you see what people build later in this video. It gets insane. Starting with a hole. Yeah, a bigger hole. Bigger. A bigger hole. Way bigger. Oh my gosh. Why are they digging windows? It's underground. Oh, those are doors. Those are doors. Why don't you just watch the video and not I, judge? I, you're right. I should watch the video. It's really hard to tell what's happening until the last shot. Oh my wait, God. they made a water slot? They made an alligator water slot? How? Can we pay to come play in this? Like, they should open their own theme park. Jimmy, guess what time it is? Amish building time. Actually, it's 1202. Look at them go. So this giant structure was literally built in a day by Amish people. Well, that's insane. Look at them go. It's like a bunch of ants just wow. building a colony. I don't believe this is one day. Look at the sun. Look at the clouds. Look at how many people it is. What, like a hundred? If we could all just get together and do stuff, we wouldn't even need these giant machines anymore. This is the power of man. You know, honestly, the music really fits it. Good country, barn raising music. Wait a minute. This is the Amish. Who was filming it? Don't the Amish not film stuff? Exposed. Primitive technology. This is one of my favorite The guy who started it all, in my opinion, the best of the best. He's the goat of building things in the forest. He did it back when it wasn't cool. This man started just building in the forest and everybody else hopped on the trend. What is he building here? Bow and arrow. That's it? Well, I mean, what do you mean that's it? You gotta eat, don't you? Dude, I've seen him literally build the most insane structures in the woods. Like, you gotta eat, though. Yeah, but this doesn't do him service. That's a good bow. That is pretty cool. And look how far it went into the tree. So we went from jungle to snow. Oh, he's oh. making an igloo. Do they get it deeper because there's more warmth or? The ground stays at like a, a the constant temperature. Here it is. I forget. It's like 58. And there you have it. That igloo was cool. Thank yeah. You. Get it? Because it's cold. Snow. Snow. Ice. I've never seen a house in a tree and wondered how to get that up there. Here's how. I mean, like, after watching the primitive technology, guys, like, this is impressive. Don't get me wrong. But, like, Yeah, come it on. doesn't compare. They're using tools and machinery. They had a tractor. I'm going to need to see something a little better from you guys. Also, they didn't eat a sandwich in the middle of building a tree house. Very crucial step. I'm thinking of doing a video where I spend seven days on an island all alone. Can I do it? Then, oh, wait. Then I wouldn't be alone. 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 We'll see. We'll okay. see. But anyways, a structure like this would be cool. Here's the thing, though. Like, do you know how to build structures like these? You're going to need somebody like me. But I think it's funny because I suck. So if I did it and just almost died, I think that'd be funny. But you're my lifeline and my job and <laughs> my income. Don't die. <laughs> oh, wait. Also, my friend. Hopefully there's no bears on this island. Okay, we've added another stick. He's now using two sticks instead of just one singular stick. Wait, is he carving a man-made cave? That's actually like rock in there. He's actually carving it. And he's fortified. It. Is that for the bears? You said you were worried about bears. This guy's got you covered, man. I have so many questions, but this is beautiful. This is like thumbnail pretty. This is more beautiful than my house. I, I didn't want to say it, but now that you said it, I fully agree. Hey, it's building technology. I don't know if I trust that. Walking under that, a hole you just dug? Whoa, they're making dirt furniture. Dude, this is Patrick yeah, Stark's I was about house. to say that. Oh my gosh. Literally, this frame right here is Patrick Stark. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It is definitely cool, but like, there's so much detail. If YouTube wasn't a thing, you think they'd be doing this? No, no chance. If you couldn't monetize this, no one would do this. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to make a bookcase that's also a secret door. Yo. You got me interested now. Like you said, if you want a secret bookshelf, just do this. And then this. Wait, uh, put I, the screw. Can you in. slow down? I can't keep up. And then you hammer that. Wait, then what? That's a screw. Well, I, then the book. Wait, where'd the book come you from? You attach the string. Do you have to get a book? I don't understand. And then you put it there. Screws. Uh-huh. String. Got you. Latch. And now the most important part of the video. The part where I tell you to subscribe because we're closing in on 10 million subscribers. We're so close. What, do you want them to be homeless? Please, I need this. I have a child. All right, All right so, so they're setting a perimeter. Now they're stacking it up. They're making a wall. Oh, they're making a foundation. That's a good foundation. And the house is made out of stone, so it won't catch on fire. That's why American houses are inferior because they're all made out of wood. That's an interesting shot. They <laughs> should just put the camera on the ground. And the guy's like, shouldn't we straighten it? He's like, no. That was Tariq that did that. Honestly, we don't put Tariq on blast enough. We did in the last video, ironically, that you say that. That's still not enough. If we go a video without insulting Tariq, <laughs> remind us. That's not Earn your degree faster at Purdue University.